I've never seen this up here. Master sword. So come try to break into my house. All these ones on the right are like for Tara Reid videos because they're like old school. It was kind of just a prop. I'm supposed to cut this to size and then fuck it to wake the wind. <laughs> we uh, all took Adderall a while ago and decided to paint this wall yellow. Pee pee. Hi, this is Lauren and Google Sled Dog Talks, the first episode of the house tour. I have closed the tour with Getter. It's your boy. We're gonna fucking check out my house and closet and my bathrooms, you know, just cool stuff in my house. I'm gonna fucking talk about my album and shit at the end of this, so. Whoa, what's up? I totally didn't even know you were there and shit. Hey, my fucking house. Condo. CDJs that don't work. Broke him on tour. This is Nick Coletti. He ordered this giant poster of him before he moved out to achieve more goals. Kind of just left it up. We have a whiteboard. That's not a dick. My favorite mug. Get it? Because the handle's a D. <laughs> I-C-K like a dick. Dick. Got some feet, giant lava lamps that I can't find replacement bulbs for. Love Sack sent me this Love Sack and I bought that one, but now we have double chill zones. Three people fit on that, two people fit on that. If I had that many friends, They'd be here right now. Oculus, VR porn, enough said. This is a gnome my older brother got me when I got this spot. It says, say hello to my little friend. And it's funny because gnomes are little, but he has a gun. So it's like a Scarface gnome reference. But we can't put it outside because it's too violent for the kids. This is a neon sign that says farts, Etsy, goodbye. That one says fuck off. This is Rob Israel, my homies fucking work. This is a painting from Ikea that me and my friends drew on. See, it's a sperm. Good little piece, you know, it's a good piece. Punching bag for when anxiety attacks and you have to punch something. Tend to switch, more lava lamps, more VR, cool glasses, couch that folds into a bed, that blanket says shit, Nintendo controller, table, Scarface fucking thing. How long have you been living here? Almost two years. We're about to move like super soon. So we'll have to do an updated one as well. This says fuck, it's one of my favorite pieces. Handmade. Scarface Supreme collab. The world is yours. Because it is. Mine. What do you like to cook? Postmates, dude. Like our fridge, lactose free milk, Coca Cola. I never drink Coke, but here we go. Bud Light, empty Bud Light box. I'm not a big beer guy. We have a bunch of fake butter, a bunch of hot sauces, miso mayo. It's good vegan shit. My girl's vegan, so I like to keep vegan sauces handy. Smucker squeeze. It's good for the body and the soul. Nick put these up, Billionaire Boys. Bill Cosby sticker. Butters has his own thing right here. We got treats, leashes, easy cheese for dog. He has crippling anxiety, so we have these calming cookies that don't work. Anxiety meds for him from the vet. There's some shit adults take, but uh, it doesn't work. As you can see, he likes to lay down like a turkey. Me and Nick tried to have a hair growing competition and I can't grow a beard, so we bought these beard pills. I bought these beard pills and he still beat me. Rolled oats, because he loved porridge. My mom got me these cool wind chimes for my car. And when you drive, it's not like there's a fairy in them. And it says dream big. What's your favorite food? Chipotle, any Mexican food, French toast. My girlfriend got me French toast for my birthday and that shit was fire. Here we got a mini sex doll. It was kind of just a prop. Supposed to cut this to size and then fuck it. My boy Slogan from, I think, San, I think he lives in Santa Cruz. Slogan, Slogan, this is Gary Payton. Gary Payton, Gary Payton, Sam Taylor, Gary Payton, Mac Dre, my favorite rapper, rest in peace. Nintendo 64 t coffee table. This is Butter's Lair. Diablo plays Xbox right here. Wind Waker wand from the video game to wake the wind. You know, out here is where Butter's takes a shit and I'm not even gonna show you because that shit is a goddamn war zone. We uh, all took Adderall a while ago and decided to paint this wall yellow, just that wall. It matches though with like the pink and blue, like primary color. Yeah, we had like this big plan. We were gonna do like that wall pink, that wall blue. This one yellow, Adderall wore off. Let's go upstairs. Ugh. Nick made this, Pound Town, before he left. I like to leave shit the same as it is. We have some art from David Coria, another one of my favorite artists, haunting you. We got my boy Fat Nick. Shout out Fat Nick. Some wind chimes my mom got me. Here we got Sneak. It's my best friend. Uh, this is a Matt Steiker painting. Original. Nick wrote fuck off on this door. He also wrote on that ceiling one time, fuck yeah, when he was really drunk, when we were all really drunk. Got taken down. 
No, when the we got new landlords and they came to come check it out and they saw it. We got mad for some reason. I'm gonna need to borrow some of your mouthwash where I just ran out. My room. Tetsuo! <laughs> Remember that, Akira? It's my gaming fucking desk. Edit videos, pictures, make- Hey, buddies, get out of here. You're not allowed in here anymore. He peed on my bed last week. That's why I don't have a cover. I put grass on the walls and my girlfriend hates it. She's in there pooping or something. A dude in German or Sweden made that for me. It's like a real poster, it's fucking dope. Rob Israel did those. More Sam Taylor shit, this is Skinner. My YouTube award. I kinda just did YouTube videos until I got that and then I'm like, all right, I'm chilling. But then I'm gonna get another one for Shred and I'm gonna be chilling again. Got some fake flowers, middle finger. This is my, I keep stickers and collectibles in here. Blades, big fan of blades, you know. It's real. This is my money jewelry thing, passports. I don't like big dressers, so I got this one. These are all notes and pictures from my girlfriend. She just got me this card yesterday, it's super sweet. This says shit. That's a GameCube that I got in fucking China or Asia. Where did I get that, Bangkok? Bangkok, thanks for the GameCube, dude. Amiibos for my Switch, Zelda statue, Zelda map. This is a one of one replica motherfucking master sword. So come try to break into my house. I don't have guns. If guns leave, Everyone should get swords, because they're way fucking scarier. More art from my boy Matt Stiker. Original, ink, mm. collectors, jizz. Oh. 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 Melting fucking things from Target. Got some lube right here. I don't like to hide my lube. It's out in the open. Um, fuck, ow. These are all my fucking t-shirts. I like to keep them on this because it feels like a store. So it's like I'm living in a store. What's are your favorite pieces? Favorite t-shirts. Uh, most of these are Supreme because I collect it like a dumbass. All these ones on the right are like for Tara Reid videos because they're like old school shirt. Uh, uh, it's kind of a bad spot, but you know, got a Budweiser sweater. Not a big fan, but I thought it was cool. Mac Dre Hawaiian t-shirt. It says Fizz because Fizz is what it is. I wore this at EDC last year. Camo shit, some babe shit, supreme shit, hundred shit, shout out Mike. Shred, got this one of one, I think it's one of one, UU, but I washed it and dried it so it's ruined. But shout out Peanut and Puya for sending me that. I like to do colored stuff and then black and white stuff on this side. This is from Barraza H3H3, shout out Gila. Donate one shirt to Goodwill, get a new one. Some new Trippy Burger shit, not available out of Zoomies near ye. Shout out Gary Payton, Suicide Boy shit. Shout out Germ. A lot of my favorite shirts keep getting ruined because my fucking dryer's broken and my landlord won't fix it, so. I'm go up here. I didn't really clean this area. This is a one-on-one -on -one painting from Gary Payton, Mac Dre. Thank you, Gary. Matt Stiker, Sam Taylor, Slogan. And this is, I got rid of my studio because I wouldn't go there as much. It's like my loft area. I got my Barefoot Microman 27s. Really good fucking speakers and shit, you feel me? <laughs> What's up? Really comfy chair with a massager. This is where I do all my Tara Reed shit. Got my mic. Ba -ba -na. Really nice Dyson Airblade. Really good, keeps your, you know, air flowing. This is what I use to produce. I have a big ass fucking screen. UA Arrow with the Apollo behind it. I don't really use this keyboard, but I have it. Native Instruments, right there. Nothing too crazy. Got this cool little OP one. If you ever get a chance to fuck with one of these boys, really good shit. You can make a full song in it. Tattoo cream, I think. Give that a smell. It smells pretty good. Oh yeah. It smells like Vicks, kinda. But yeah, my boy Vince gave me that. It's good for tats, numbs it and shit. Got a Mac Dre bobblehead. Pretty dope. He does like five songs and then he tells a message saying that he's still alive and breathing, which is fucking creepy. Got my Ibanez. Not good at it. I wish there was some shit I could show you on my computer, but just gonna have to wait for that album. I wrote pretty much the whole album here and on airplanes. Got a cool tapestry. It's a chick and a double. It's it really hot up here, so I don't spend a whole lot of time up here. Pee pee. And this is my cool balcony that I never go on. We give butters baths up here and shit. Sometimes he poops up here. It takes a while. I'll just wait for it. <sighs> yep. All right. Almost, we're almost there. And we're good to go. Cool. This is my own balcony. I never really go on it. I hate going outside. Butters has a little poop area down there where he does his biz. It's a little dirty right now. He poops a lot, like a lot. When we're not home, he can just go out there and shit. But then we use this hose and spray it from up here and clean it. It's pretty funny. I shut the bounce back video here 
the Tara Reed one, Daniel was laying down right there and I was like this. A little fun fact. I don't know what the fuck this is. I've never even seen it before. That's kind of scary. I've never seen this up here. Probably cursed. So if you know what that means, let me know. It means rock. It means what? Rock. Rock? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> rock and roll. Whoever left this here, leave another one. It says roll. This is Butter's old thing when he was a pup. Puppy soap, puppy mitt. Used to kick it up here and smoke when I used to smoke, but I don't fucking do that shit anymore. I love this place, but I'm trying to get a house. You know what I'm saying? Got a cool little board. Take it out, rip some fucking waves. A little drum stool. Ah, I like to come out here and fucking ponder. I just like to ponder, think about shit. For a couple minutes, then I go back inside to reality. The wind knocked that down. Earthquake of 85. Just took it out. Kind of fucked up. But yeah, Butters is terrified of that too. He's pretty much scared of everything. <clears throat> He's scared of my jewel, my shoes. Daniel put a hat on the other day. Terrified Butters is crazy. How long have you had him? Butters? Like yeah. almost two years. Wow, yeah, almost two years. Because I got him like two years ago. Or no. Fuck. A year and a half ago? I don't know. Actually, no, we got him a year ago. I've had him for a year. Yeah, because I got him on my birthday last year. Hey, thanks for checking out my condo. Uh, I got an album coming out, 12 tracks, couple, I think a couple months it's out. Pretty big project. <sighs> I think there's one drop in the whole album, so. Um, not for the EDM kids, but if you like music and you like feelings, you should check it out. It's called Visceral. It's got a bunch of features, Nothing Nowhere, Madoka, Party Nails, Alan Kingdom. It's got a bunch of, you know, fun features. I'm just here on a love sack. Talking to you at home, the audience. Tara Reed, Hot Vodka LP, couple months as well. Hip Hop Proj. It's gonna be fun. So thank you for checking out my house. Check out my music and shit. We put him in a bunch of videos and everyone's like, oh my God, you guys need to practice gun safety. It's like, yeah, dude. In the first row? There's titties right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, titties with toad. <laughs> There's usually more. I think we found like five pairs of boobs in this. It's pretty cool. Thank you for showing us your boobs. You know, whoever was at this show in Portland. <laughs>